What's up, everybody? Spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. Uh, when we left off, what's that humming? Good grief, has that always been there? Seems like really, really loud. Huh. Do I have something? Maybe it's because I had music on before, I don't know. Um, so, still missing our door. It's very convenient to get in and out of the place. Um, when we left off in the last episode, we were working on the newer ship's reactor room, which is coming along well. Um, I think today... I was going to do um, a battery room, right? But in talking to a couple of you on the comments, it was suggested to play around with grav walks and make more of like a um, upstairs downstairs almost uh, which I kind of thought was a cool idea so I'm probably going to play around with that a little bit um, ah crap I haven't opened my inventory since I started the, the game um, let's see what batteries we have to work with battery recharge area ooh that's cool uh, we have the azimuth batteries and then the, the um, whatchamacallit, NASA batteries. I think we're going to keep using these mostly because of their um, recipes, that they're cheaper than, than the other stuff. And why can't I place you? You don't like that. Okay. Um, so, my theory... My theory is, I don't think this is going to be here. Um, it's going to be like, you know, part of this section. I'm thinking of having... This is how I'm planning it. And, we're, and I'm not sure if it's going to stay this way or not. And truth be told, with the way this is set up right next to the, the Mark III here, I might go ahead and build this way? Since we kind of built it to where there's just two doors one way or another. I think I might build this way, because I'm thinking the engine I want on the back. Kind of like most. I mean, even this ship. It's got uh, bridge, cargo, hangar, and reactor in the back. You know, like, everything kind of puts the engine in the back. Which makes sense. I mean, it makes it more secure and out of the way, and, you know, if something leaks, you know, a reactor leaks or something, it's not going to be a problem. Um, so, what I'm planning, and this is just me planning, for lack of a better term. Um, oh. Oh. I don't have any interior plates? What is this madness? What is this madness of which you speak? Um, that's weird. I don't need this stuff for now. I'll keep that. Uh, where do all my interior plates are? So let's just grab some interior plates. The odds of me using this many materials is not high, but you never know. Okay. I'm just going to build this out a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to keep it that length or not. I'm also going to play around a bit more with the whole double-sided ceiling thingies. And there's been a few things. Did I add them? I might not have added them. Uh, was it walkway? Catwalk. No. 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 Um, bridge? No. Uh, platform? No. Okay, so I must not have added the mod. There's there's one that's like a laser bridge or something that it it pretty much just works like a catwalk. Um, but it looks cooler. <laughs> for, to be honest. Um, Alright, so we do need to figure out if we were going to 
do a grav platform. How we would do it, because um, what we're looking at is we could do the no railing, I suppose. Uh, there's even a slope without railing, which is pretty cool. What is this? Oh yeah, I added this. It's a gravity collector. That's pretty cool. I'm going to probably implement it on my next drilling ship at some point. Um, so if we were to do something like this... Realistically, I'd want it symmetrical, so I'd probably place it somewhere like here. My, my thing is, what I'm not sure about... We would have to get the gravity on it just perfect to where, like, if you're here, it doesn't bother you. But if you're hugging the wall, then it would pull you up onto the wall. Um, that would probably be the only way I'd want to do that. And this is... Uh, three by three... So I've got to make sure anything I build is under this, or above this rotor, I guess. Okay. So, just, I hope this works. I really hope this works. Um, please don't break. Sweet. I love working on stations. Um. Okay, so I put that there because this is not really a thing. I, it was mostly to keep it connected, which I'm not entirely sure I even needed to do because of the way stations work. Um, it looks like it's going to be fine. Granted, this doesn't really matter, but if we end up keeping... Um, if we end up keeping that in place, we'll already have a wall kind of done, or a ceiling attachment, or whatever. As opposed to if it was all conveyor tubes, and then we're not going to use conveyor tubes this way, the ceiling's kind of already done. So, there's that. Um, alright, so... Let's actually get something done this episode. Let's do... How do we want to do this? We could do a ring the same shape... Right? Keeping everything in in tandem, in tune. I don't know if tandem is the right usage there. Uh, one more. Now, mm, I might have done this wrong. Hold on. If we really want a gravity room, then the floor should be the ceiling and vice versa. Instead of the other way around. I don't know why these particular blocks seem to switch direction every time I place, or every time I switch out of them and place something else. I don't really know why they do that, but they do. One more. Okay. At some point we're actually gonna have to start putting this thing together like welding it together and everything. I'm gonna try and do that off camera though. Maybe if we can figure out how exactly we want everything to look in this episode, then I might go ahead and like weld it all together and have it finished in the next one. That would be kind of cool. All right, so one thing that I adore about the, what we did with the Mark III was having these batteries actually be visible. Like, um, having glass panels over top of them so that you could see what was what was going on in terms of their charging and everything. I thought that was a really cool idea. Um, now, if we're looking at it from this point of view... This is going to be an extremely weird ship. I just kind of realized this, that I'm going to have to have a lot of gravity generators to encompass certain areas and make everything work. 
it's going to be kind of odd. Um, but let's get the battery placement done first, then we'll worry about gravity later. So if we walk up either side and end up like this, we've got the reactor above us, which is the conveyor tube is probably going to go somewhere in one of these directions. So let's put batteries like this. Maybe. And then you could go around. Theoretically. Um, maybe. I don't know if I'm going to have enough materials to make eight batteries, but... Or wait, no. Sixteen batteries. That's not eight. Dur -dur -dur. Math. Um... Alright, we'll go ahead and put the floor there. I'm leaving this... Let's go ahead and make this uh, conveyor stuff, because I don't really know how I'm going to set up the uranium system. Like, to get the, the reactor uranium. Not really sure how I'm going to do that. Um... So we want to make sure that that works all well and good. Okay. I will probably end up removing this wall and this row of walls along the side and making grav walks. Um, we might even make these like... Uh, no, I won't do grav on each one. Hmm. I'm going to have to really play around with the gravity in this ship. This is going to be a really complicated ship for me. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember our system that we have. We might end up changing... Um, it was the inside walls, right? These were on the inside, or are these on the outside? Yeah, okay, they're on the inside. Wait, how did we do that? I thought we went around and put them on the outside of things. We did. So how... Oh, the phone. Oh, there's the problem. Okay, that's the problem. Alright. Got it. So, we're going to do... Let's get spun around here. Um, that. Haha! -ha. Success. Um, dang it! Why does it keep resetting everything? Okay. And we had. I forget which one we had. Let's turn our lights on for a second. Uh, the one with the vent on the bottom is four. So we have three on the right, four on the bottom. Or on the. Three on the right, four on the left. Is I think how we have this set up. Right? Yeah, three on the right. Listen to your own words. What did you just say? Um, oh. Oh. This is inverted, mayhaps. It is inverted. Hmm. So up here. We might do. Well, how did that end up looking? Oh, wait a minute. Huh? 
Never mind. I just... I... Yeah. <laughs> Watch what I do, not what I say. I screwed myself up here. This flipping upside down man thing, man. It screws with your head. Okay, I think that is... Correct. I'm just gonna place one here. So I can do that. Almost a corner block, if only. Um, bu -bu 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 nope. And, oh, my energy is getting low. And then for this part, we're gonna put a four, I think. Right? Sure. Maybe. Okay, let's go recharge. Ooh, so confusing. So confusing. I don't know why I'm getting weird lag spikes. It's like it'll be fine and then it lags out. Um, we need to connect it though, so that it's not just sitting there floating. Cause that's no, that's no good. So what I'm thinking is, if I can get, um, if I can get the solar pan, or not solar pan, the batteries in place where we want them, and connected to where it's all set up, well I guess technically it is connected, um, then we could actually start building them, once the batteries are done, then we could actually start putting solar panels and stuff so that while we build this ship, it could actually be charging up, which would be a good idea. Okay. Um... I'm pretty sure I'm getting this right. Yeah. Okay, now... Is it this one? Yes. This one, we're gonna have to do another spacing thing. Which is fine. Uh, right here, we're gonna put one of these, which is determined to flip around every chance it gets. And we'll just put that there and then get rid of that. I might not have to get rid of those every time, um, but I kind of have just been doing that for visual cues type of thing. Wait. Yes. I'm so- I'm getting so confused by this, um, the three and four panels. Like, which one goes on which corner. It's just driving me nuts. Alright, so now this room is going to look a little different than um, the, the reactor one. The reactor one, um, I'm almost thinking of sealing it with glass, but I want to... I want to make sure the rotor stuff works the way I want it to first, and can spin, doesn't break anything, doesn't damage anything, um, etc, etc. We also need to find a block to go in between here for the walls. Since they all kind of look like, even these, they have like the darker orange strip on the bottom. I don't know why I said darker, I meant thicker orange strip. So if you did it like this, you're gonna have like stripes all the way up and it would look a little funky. So I've gotta think about what uh, blocks I wanna do for that. Actually, I just realized something. I could have been doing these in the corners this whole time. Like this put them in the corner this whole time 
Oh, I see the problem. No, I couldn't. Okay. Darn. I could in this room, but it would throw off the dimensions of that room. Which would not be cool. Um, one thing that I've been curious about is this... We left a space all the way around so that it wouldn't hit anything. My thing is, I wonder if we could put... Um, oh no, I tried that. Never mind. I tried to do them reversed and it wouldn't work. Never mind, we're working with stuff the way that it works. I gotcha. Um, what I'll probably do... Hmm. We'll probably put either glass or catwalks over this. Maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to do this per se. Um, one solution is if we don't need this section up here, this conveyor, if we don't need this to come off and go up in some way, uh, we could put a gravity generator here and just reverse the gravity field to where even though it likes to default with down, we could tweak that, I think. I hope. Pretty... Uh, maybe you can't. I'm pretty sure I could... Because we need to get gravity to this room. Pretty much. Um, unless we want to make the whole floor gravity walks. Because what I'm thinking is just doing gravity walks on the side. And then when you get here, another gravity generator takes over. And you can, you know, walk across it. But having it only, like, floor level so that it doesn't affect this one's gravity. And that way we could just put glass here, catwalks here, leave this as the normal floor, and we could have our visible but complete flooring done type of thing. Um, the other way is to do catwalks with, with uh, railings here. I don't want to do grav walks all the way around. You could. It's just expensive, is the thing. It's just a lot of materials. But we could. We could actually cover all of this in gravity walks. Because there's railings and, you know, all kinds of stuff that we could do. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. In the meantime, I think we're going to wrap things up here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!